Jim Isaacs? Yeah, I know Jim Isaacs. I was working for the company. A little gig in Cambodia teaching the local tribesmen how to blow stuff up. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't a whole lot of explosives. It wasn't a whole lot to blow up. I had a local woman, pretty good setup. They sent Jim Isaacs out. He was straight out of the academy or something. Young lieutenant looking to get himself promoted. He was in charge of training the locals. He had them marching up and down and left and right and yes sir, no sir. Regular little martinet, you know the type. Well, that didn't bother me none too much until we got ambushed one day, taking fire pretty heavy. And Isaacs, he's in command there. He orders retreat. Can't fault him for that, really, except he never looked to see where they were retreating to. By the time I got them holed up, about half of them turned around and jumped right off of the cliff we were up against. Well, I might have made my way out on foot. About three months later, I was in Saigon. They had me up on desertion charges. And Isaacs, he was a captain. Yep. Things just never seemed to go right after that. Jim Isaacs? Yeah. <clears throat> I know Jim Isaacs. I was working security on the Nixon campaign. It was, uh, I guess, 72. Things weren't going too well. We were all in a big room. Nixon was pissed. He was just pacing back and forth and muttering about how we're supposed to run a campaign if we don't know what the other side's doing. Just pacing back and forth. No one was saying much, and then a voice spoke up. said, I think I know how we can do something about that. That was Isaacs. Well, you know what went down after that. I never did see him up on the stand testifying, so guess he got away Scott clean. Yep. Never saw him after that. James Isaacs? He was my manager. I thought he knew how to treat a lady, but he didn't. 